I'm going to show how you make observation hockey, as I said I would in the previous video. So let me just go through the things we'll need, and uh, there's quite a bit. So we'll need two local scripts and start to play scripts. This is for inputs and this is for application. You want a config folder in start to character scripts. This is where you have uh, your dodges, how many you want, how many dodges you want to have, and the combo isn't from this this video. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about that. Then in screen GUI, you want to have a uh, text label for how many dodges you have, so you show it on screen. Uh, server script service, you want to have the main. This is the server side module requiring script. Uh, which is part of the framework. It just requires all the modules. And inside of here, you need this folder called hockey types, and inside you want observation module. And you also need a script for when the player gets added. I'll get into this in just a second. Then in replicate storage, folder for assets, and here you have animations and sounds. You get your own sound, and you know you throw in here. Uh, I just got this from the toolbox, so you could do the same. And then one for animations. Then you'll need the replicate folder with hockey types in here as well, and then observation. Don't look at this other stuff because that's just uh, from my other things from previous videos. And then you want these two remotes as well. Final thing you need is this color correction right here. So you can make the, the actual Ken hockey look, observation hockey look. So yeah, you want to have this, uh, keep it disabled though. And in the workspace, you want to have a folder called player BFX, and you're not for this. So yeah, just, just that. That's it. So yeah, let me get into the scripts now. First script, the input side. Now, in here you need quite a few things. Uh, all of these for so the services, we need the lighting so we can change the color correction part. RP is replicated storage, and you use an input service to get inputs. And then this is the remotes where we're going to fire through. And here is just the, we're getting the player GUI. Player, character, config, you know, the usual stuff. And in the inputs, we want input, GPE. GPE is if uh, if you're typing, you know, it'll return in. So if, it, if you're typing, it won't continue. And we need this one here for K. So you, you just do if input.keycode is K. Um, I have to use else if because I already have others. But yeah, and then in here, you want to fire to the main remote and the parameters you want to put name hockey types type is observation and the function is fire uh, this is basically in here inside of the main it'll be hockey types folder observation uh, module and then the function is what you're going to fire inside of the the module and this here is to change the ui so when the dodge value is changed which is here in the dodges in the config when it's changed it will fire this function and new v is the new value so you would change the text of it to new value and you need to do two string because this value is an int value and you need it to be a string so you two string it and you will change the text to that and if the new value is less than or equal to zero then it will turn off the color correction and the ui so that's all you need in this local script next part is to the server so this is the server the module requiring thing i'm not going to explain the code this isn't part of the actual you know tutorial but yeah just there you go this requires the modules inside of it so in this case being observation so yeah that's that this is also the replicator this isn't part of it so you know just copy this down and this here loops through everything inside replicate until it finds something called observation that's what it will do the the type it will loop through until it finds the type and the type was observation yeah so that's what you do and now into the actual code for the, the observation so server side it's quite simple we need these things uh, just as a base, you know, I have them in everything. These services, replicate storage, debris is not used in here. None of these are actually used in here, but they're good to have. Uh, we need the animations, not in this one actually. 
so you can take the animations out and then the remote folder previous use is for the cooldown and you'll not need it actually because you are handled inside the player added script so yeah when you fire this function so when you press uh, J or K I don't remember what key it was uh, this is what will, will happen all of this so config is you already know it's a config the characters uh, where the dodges and stuff are inside of the character so we need this and then current use is uh, for the cooldown so this just stores the OS of time which is the time since the game started uh, into a variable and on the first use uh, this won't fire because the previous use is just nothing but on the second use the previous use will be equal to what the previous one was and when you when you fire it again uh, it will check if the new one is uh, the new one take away the previous one is more than two so if two seconds have passed basically this is the the time so you can change this to however many seconds you want for the cooldown mine just at two so it's you know quick and yeah that's actually really it and then yeah here when you get past that you set the previous use to the current use so you can use it for the next time and here we just check if the character has the attribute observation hockey this is so you check if uh, you actually have observation hockey on so yeah, if they do then it will set it to nil if if you don't then it will set it to true so yeah that's to actually turn it on and off but yeah here we have uh, where we fire through to the replicator we need to send through the player then the parameters and the player the parameters are the same thing as before but the function is different because in here the function is activate you could change this to you know whatever you want but in this case it's activate and also now that I'm thinking about it here if you would want like actually no, it would be fine because there's a cooldown in the player added this is where you do the uh, you wait every two seconds and the dodges go up uh, you could change this to a much higher number two seconds is just for an like, example so it, like uh, the dodges come back quickly and you put this in a coroutine this stuff isn't part of this so I'm not gonna go into this this is from the the armament hockey one but it's basically when a player is added uh, you fire this function so every time someone joins this will happen for them and we do a coroutine because this is a loop and we don't want this stopping any other code when in the future you have more things in here so right now you don't really have anything except this which it wouldn't be an issue but you know you will have in the future if you're actually properly making a game so we just do a coroutine for this and yeah I'm not gonna get into coroutines because there's a lot of stuff to go through. So yeah, here you change the time to whatever you want the however like however long you want to wait before the dodge come back. Dodges come back every single dodge, you know. Two seconds here, every dodge will come back. I'm gonna increase it to like three. Just so I can not have to sit at the dummy and let him hit me a few too many times. Uh, and then you can increase it by however many you want here one makes the most sense and this is how many max dodges you want to have so I'm just doing three but you know it's up to you so yeah, that's it for the dodge regen you are the combat and I'll get into this in a second um, I'm showing how you can implement it into a combat as well uh, yeah, so, so client side of things in here same thing, character, config, humanoid, that stuff. You don't actually need the humanoid here, so you can take that out. Or the config, really, yeah. And here's when you want, where you want to play the sound. So, you know, just play whatever sound you have for it. And here we check if you have the attribute for observation arc key. Then here is where we change the lighting part of things. And that's actually all this does, very simple. So, yeah. and the final bit is inside of the actual combat system wherever you have it i'm not going to go through this combat it's it's just one that i already really made quickly for a tutorial but in here you would have uh, in the hitbox part when the hitbox is touched you would want to have an if uh, the enemy character has the observation hockey value and the enemy character dot config dot dodges dot value is more than zero then uh, you take away one dodge from them 
and you check after that if the dodges are zero. And if the dodges are zero, then you'll set the attribute to nil for the enemy character. Yep. And I'll show you how this looks. So, okay. You hear the sound. This number is not actually updated. And that's because I set it to five as a base. But when you get hit, it will change. Boom, boom, boom. And that's because it regened. And now it's gone. And now I can, I can be hit. See? Uh, yeah, I didn't add an animation for him, but every every one second he attacks, and then you know, go back on three sec, uh, three dodges, dodges go down one one. Oh, I regen one because it's the second boss. There we go. Now, in here, just so you can have it be set to how many dodges you actually have, uh, you want to just quickly have this outside of here, and you want to do config dot. Dodges dot value. So now it will be set to whatever the dodges you have are. Three. On the on the first activation of it. I'm not close enough. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And if you want the animation to play when you get hit, you need to have let me just get the line. Uh, I'm not sure where the line's gone. I had it in here at some point, but you just need to do wherever your animation is for dodging. For me, it's right here, dodges. So you would do uh, enemy humanoid report. No, enemy humanoid load animation. This is the really simple way to do animations. There's a much longer and a better way to do it but you know both work and this is just a simple tutorial so so yeah, load the animation which would be in the animations folder dot dodges and then you play so now there we go every time I'm hit does the dodging animation and now I can actually be hit so yeah that's it